We are positioning Rensselaer as the new polytechnic, an institution that brings people together to solve big challenges, what I call the hard problems. It's wired into our DNA. It's, it's how the university was started. How do we take data and make it into sound rather than into vision? Through this uh, really remarkable combination wow. of technology. The greatest innovations come in technology when there's also this fluid thinking that's often associated with arts. I think that gives us a step up in really making significant transformative changes. Science, engineering, the arts, humanities, it's that whole spectrum of, of education. There's a really big fusion going on between arts and science. You've got a critical mass of people who are genuinely interested in problem solving and, and genuinely curious. As an institution, we want to make a global impact. We ask the question every day, why not change the world? We do research not because it's easy to do, not because we're focusing on simple problems. We don't want to shirk from large problems because they're large. In fact, we would rather go toward them on the premise of applying science for the common purposes of life. That means creating solutions around the world. It takes all the Rensselaer resources, including the support system, the education system, the research infrastructure, to prepare a complete whole student for the future. We're going to position our students to understand the world, to know what kind of technologies the world needs. The focus isn't just becoming a great scientist or a great researcher, but it's showing our students how to function adequately as a human being in the rest of the world. By shaping ourselves as the new polytechnic, by bringing people together across the disciplines, by using advanced technologies in unique ways to address really challenging but interesting issues and to position Rensselaer for its third century as the new polytechnic.